Dewey and Emery are in Amsterdam, Netherlands for three days. In this episode, we go on a booze cruise through the canals, explore the colorful city center of Amsterdam at night, we'll eat stroopwafels at a famous historic bakery, shop for rubber ducks, enjoy an Italian dinner, and settle into our wonderful hotel. Join us on day one of our fall adventure as we explore Amsterdam, Netherlands. We arrived later than planned and quickly checked into our hotel, the Kimpton de Witt. After dropping our bags in our room, we rushed out the door to our afternoon booze cruise. Thanks to the magic of Google Maps, we found the boat and boarded just in time. So we're on an unlimited booze cruise, right? <laughs> and we just started. So we didn't think we were going to make it, did we? We didn't know if we'd make it because our flight was in. We rushed the hotel, and then we walked out here with our GPS on our phone. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Well, we're here now. We're here. Having Heineken and some rosé wine. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff for us to drink here. Look at our supply. So we'll be in good shape. We are on a booze cruise. Oh, wait, it's a little dark. Hold on, a little dark right now. <laughs> All of a sudden, got really dark. Oh, no. And but say your names, okay? I'm James. I'm Maddie. And from yeah. Wales. Wales. And, the, and that's the great thing about cruising is you make so many yeah, friends and all that stuff like that and yeah. you two look like you're totally in love. We smashed. So. <laughs> Wait till it wears off. <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh look at the background now. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, well great to meet you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Amsterdam is a beautiful city, and a canal cruise lets you see it from a unique perspective. The boat was small and not equipped with a restroom so we had to leave early as the Heinekens were going through Emory pretty fast. We said our goodbyes as we had disembarked and eventually found a restroom. Phew. As we walked along the streets, we had no idea where we were, and in typical Stewie and Emory fashion, stumbled upon the famous Firma Stroop Bakery. Established in 1921 and famous for its stroopwafels, it is a must visit to taste the authentic traditional Dutch cookies. Stroopwafels. You've been the telling me. The real thing. The real thing. You've been telling me about them for a couple weeks now. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, they don't have chocolate on mine. They can have chocolate on them too. Well, they can have all these things on them. Mm -hmm. Not just plain chocolate. Mm -hmm. The Stroop Waffles made us hungry for dinner, and we stopped at the Parmigiano restaurant for some dinner and to warm up. A hot pasta dish for Stewie and soup for Emery was just what we needed. Emery loves the French fries in Europe and even tried the Frites Classic Sauce. Turns out it's just mayonnaise. We headed back to the hotel, and the streets and shops were all lit up for the holidays. We resisted going into a lot of the shops as the temperature was dropping fast. As Floridians, we weren't used to the chilly temperatures, but we just had to go into the rubber duck store.
Our room was a little small, but the bed was comfy and the bathroom was a sight to behold. We were tired from all the walking and wanted to get a good night's sleep as we had a busy day planned to tour the delightful village of Zanshans and its windmills, clogs, and cheese. Thanks for watching.